Hi everybody and welcome to this expert specific playthrough tailwind angles only for the Texan track nine hole cup now these may not be necessarily the tournament wins but will give you a very good idea of shots you might want to take thumb up would be greatly appreciated and subscribe if you haven't done so already i'd love that if you could it is totally free uh, timestamps in the video description down below and remember the chances are you will get some very similar wind angles in the tournament to those featured here. So you may need to tweak a little bit, but the aggressive approaches on some of the holes will, I'm sure, help you out. Good luck, everybody. Let me know how you get on. Here we go with hole number one. I'm using the APOC 6 here. Uh, 6.9 top spin for this wind strength, setting up a top of plus 28 with the bullseye directly over the edge of the bunker. If you haven't got APOC 6, you can use Extra Mile Level 9, set up at max power 5, again with a bullseye over the bunker, but bear in mind, of course, you need a perfect ball if you're using the Extra Mile due to lower accuracy. Max plus 10 power 5 settings, not pushing up in this wind strength. If you have lower wind, I would increase the top spin a little bit, higher wind, reduce the top spin by a couple of clicks. You've got to judge for yourself, that's the issue with aggressive options. We're not pushing up though because I want a slow needle and I'm going without a wall curl to the right. Important not to overdo the top spin, 440 yards. Successful drive though, you're going to be left with a very makeable end bringer here between 40 and 50 percent on the slider. No spin method but always check your club distance yourself. Playing normal end bringer rule here, 20 percent uh, power five. If you don't know the method, Check out my quick fire tutorial on that subject matter on the Academy tutorial home page. So very nice wind angle to summarize. I would go aggressively really. Obviously there's different routes. So if you want to try something else you can do, but in my opinion, this one a very, very nice. Uh, start with a basic ball and add four bars backspin because we don't want to add any unwanted side. Then we switch to a Kingmaker or a Kingslayer depending how you want to be accurate with the wind. If you want to keep it below eight, which would be advisable really, otherwise you may need more tweaks. So uh, Kingmaker for me, blue ring touching the rough on the left and the right, as you can see there with the ball guide as shown. So rewind the video if you need those extra references. One to one plus 0 0.1 is the adjustment. So 7.8 in wind, I'm gonna go 7.9 rings. Obviously with all of these par threes, you will need to have a look at your wind angle, put some tweaks in if need be. And especially if you're sticking with a Kingmaker in higher wind, you might need to tweak this shot as well. But here is a very good starting point for you. In fact, it is a hole in one in this wind strength and wind angle. On to the third hole now, par five. Uh, you don't have to use the ball that I'm using here. A Berserker will work nicely. The only reason I picked this one is it because it gives me plus three uh, over power stability. It's a no movement target shot and you want um, 5.8 top spin, two bars side spin to the left, power five ball. So Berserker is going to work fine, but obviously this one gives me plus three, so it's easy to hit perfect. If you've got one, you can use it. Max plus 10, power five. And then we are going to push up with APOC five and above. I'm pushing up here a total of 11, sorry, yeah, 11 yards. With APOC 4, you'd have to go another 7 yards. You'd have to go 18 yards up. Uh, half a ball of curl to the left, full overpower. It will be a slower needle with APOC 5. You will have a shakier needle with APOC 4 because you'll be nearer max. But we go with half a ball curl to the left and hit perfect. So have the uh, top of the white ring touching the pin. Look at the plus yards displayed. Plus 7 in my uh, instance here. It's gonna be three bars of backspin. So then add your spin and have a look at the ball guide here. Uh, because we've got a tailwind angle, gonna just leave it to the front edge of the cup. No need to go through the hole at all. So ball guide to the front edge of the cup. Plus seven for the top white pin check is gonna be 75% slider, 15% elevation. Uh, most cases you are going to be pulling over the bullseye anyway with this wind strength with the wind one. But in case you're using a different ball or you get a low wind, just make sure you pull it over the bullseye as well. So 75% slider for plus seven. Obviously, once again, 2% per yard. Hit perfect and the back, backspin grabs very nicely and we drop for an albatross. 
a 1.8 backspin and two bars side spin to the left. And my reference here with the APOC 5 and 6 at power 5 max rest is the blue ring touching the rough. Different ring references if you've got APOC 7 and 8, of course. Max plus 10 power 5 settings. Then with APOC 5 and above, I'm going to push up. We're going to look at the plus yards now. We're at plus 1. I push up to plus 11. So it's a 10 yard push up. With APOC 4, I would add on uh, another 6 yards. So I'd go with a 17 yard push up. With APOC 5, of course, you're going to get a lovely slow needle here. Ball and a half of curl to the left, hit perfect. Be a bit shaky with an APOC 4 because you're closer to max. But we bounce on the fairway very comfortably. Backspin grabs, and we're going to have a very easy end bring a school shot there. Hole five is a touchy little shot. Um, I've burnt a lot of edges here. Did get a drop though uh, after a few attempts. We're going to go with 1.8 top spin and we're going to go with 0.3 side spin to the right. And here we're looking at the plus yards with sniper 10. It's going to be at plus 10 yards, ball guide as shown. And you'll see there is the thinnest of uh, amounts of the red ring outside the rough on the left. So just a tiny amount of the red ring outside the rough. Top of plus 10. Uh, try and keep the wind below 8 miles per hour. I've not tested this in anything higher than that. We're making our adjustment is max plus 20 power 3 settings. But like I said, this is a bit of a touchy rough bump. Um, tough wind angle to drop this one. I'd rather have headwind actually or crosswind. Tailwind makes it a little bit tricky. Wind angle tweaks will be needed here, but thankfully we get this one in for a very nice hole in one. So, power three and a pock. Kingmaker ball for me, 5.8 top spin, two bars side spin to the right, and we're just going to leave the target where it is. No need to move to find our aim point. That's it right there. Uh, then we're going to adjust maximum distance 10% elevation. So, max plus 10 on this one. Make sure you've got the right club and ball preloaded before you enter the hole so you get the right NMT position. Then with um, my level of APOC, APOC 5 and above, I'm going to push up. Now APOC 5 and 6 have the same accuracy. So the push up amount here for those club levels is going to be two rings. Slightly different if you've got APOC 7 and 8. Uh, once you've done that push up, I would, uh, with the APOC 4, uh, you're going to need to push up another six yards to compensate for the lack of distance on your driver. Max overpower, slow needle, and then we bounce over the rough very nicely, and the top spin takes us along. Second shot, I play with max plus 10 in the video, and unfortunately I missed this one, so my recommendation would be keep everything the same, but adjust max plus 5, instead there are other routes on this hole you can play more aggressively you could go power five set up nearer the green if you wanted to the choice is yours this is just one option to consider spin as shown in the video same with the ball guide as well pause it after you've rewound it have a look at my references there like i said i go max plus 10 in the video i would reduce that down to max plus five if i had this one over again that would i think be a more um, suitable adjustment but we'll see how we come in here we bounce in that nice little dip in the fairway to try and get a consistent spot just missing um, about three quarters of a square we're going with 4.2 top spin and three bars side spin to the right there is an aggressive option here you can go over the rough on the right hand side with a power five ball if you want to i'm just going to show a little bit more of a free to play uh, layup option because not everybody wants to be doing the aggressive stuff. So just giving you a balanced uh, selection of shots here. Red ring touching the rough with APOC 5 and 6 at plus 4. That will be at plus 10 with the APOC 4. Either look at the second bounce if you've got different club levels or uh, work out your different ring placements as well. Bear in mind certain clubs have different accuracies. Half wall curl to the right after we've done max plus 10. And this has been a very consistent drive for me. Bouncing nicely before the rough. Top spin takes us along the fairway without threatening the far side rough. True club distance. So we're going to look at uh, plus yards and work out our slider from there. Blue ring touching the bunker. 
and then uh, I'm adding spin as needed. It's going to be about two and a half, three back spin, and a little bit of side spin. Get the ball guide pointing. Uh, let's see if I give you a zoom in here. Just finding a consistent spot there. So blue ring touching the bunker. Then we're going to add our spin. Ball guide short of the hole. There you go. About three green squares short, and it looks plumb in line with the pin to me. True club distance, zero elevation, power two settings. So plus 12 would be at max. We're doing two and a half percent slider per yard. So this one is going to be 72% um, slider. 72% slider, zero elevation. Hit perfect. And we'll see how this one comes in. Might take a token or two to get a feel for this one. And uh, we're dropping it very nicely for an eagle. Tough to get it from distance. Like I said, there's the aggressive route as well. Quite an awkward angle to play a rough bump here because you're going to adjust in and out of the bunker. So this is an option bouncing over on the right-hand side with the sniper. Um, playing with the katana, but obviously an expert. You'll be using a kingmaker. And we're going to go uh, with all of the left spin. So three left spin. And between four and five backspin, you'll have to vary it depending how much tailwind you've got. You can see here I'm using four and a half backspin. Now you're going to have a fairly uh, prominent second bounce there downhill to deal with. So here my reference is ball guide just going a little bit left of the cup. Blue ring touching the rough at plus one with sniper 10 will be plus three with sniper nine. Adjust here is one to one. And then we're going to center the ball and hit perfect. Like I said, the rough bump is probably the best option. But in this wind angle, it is awkward. And if you're not fancying the rough bump, there is a decent chance of dropping the hole in one. Just coming in a bit hot in this example, bouncing over on the right-hand side. I'm going with a six top spin or 5.8 if that's all you have. And then we're going two bars side spin to the left. Going to adjust max plus 10 on this one. So no move target apart from when you adjust your rings, of course. Max plus 10, power 3. For my club level here, APOC 8, it's going to be 7.7 uh, .7 rings. Then I'm going to do a bit of a pushing up thing here because we want to gain a bit more distance. So with APOC 8, I push up two rings. Uh, it's going to be about 1.8 rings with APOC 7, 1.6 rings with APOC 5 and 6. Uh, APOC 4, you need to push up another uh, six yards in addition to that. Max overpower and with the curl as shown, you're going to get um, a little bit slower needle with APOC 5 plus, uh, less so with APOC 4. With the Grizzly, I'm going with uh, three bars backspin and then finding my position here. Give you a zoom in there. Ball guide around one and a half green squares short of the pin, in line with the pin, of course. We're going to go for a 442 yard drive. So this was from a different drive to what was shown in the video. I would recommend you go 60% slider, 10% elevation. That is Grizzly 9 numbers, regardless if you've got Grizzly 7 or 8. That is not the slider value I went with in the video, and you'll see why, because I missed it. So I'm giving you a tweak based on my knowledge and experience of the game and dialing in shots the slider percentage on the notepad would be the correction or the adjustment that I would make based on the miss here. Thanks very much for watching this video here on the channel. If it has helped you in any way, please consider sharing it amongst your friends and clan mates in the game. Join us also on Facebook. Head over there, search for BK Golf Clash and join our free group. Loads of members there sharing shots. Free guides are posted as well as loads of other great Golf Clash resources. So check us out there. You can join in the discussion and also leave feedback on the game in general. Finally, if you wish to help support the channel and keep the content free for everybody, please consider becoming a Patreon member. The link is in the video description down below. Good luck. See you soon. Bye for now.